Happy Sunday, guys. It is January 24th. Uh, getting ready to go to the gym right now, making my uh, protein shake. And what I've been doing the past couple days, as you guys know, uh, the company BPI Sports sent me some of their whey protein. And their vanilla caramel flavor is not bad. Not bad, but it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. It is pretty plain. So what I've been doing with it lately is I put one scoop, so... Uh, one scoop it's hard to get a full scoop in just one but I put one scoop of the BPI sports way in there and then one scoop of Cellucor's um, cinnamon swirl in there just trying to do my best to get rid of this cinnamon swirl at this point uh, so there we go by the way um, you guys might be asking why I haven't talked about Cellucor very much lately um, I'm no longer affiliated with them. It's just a lot of uh, different things that I didn't necessarily agree with. Uh, they're, they've kind of grown too fast at this point to where I feel like they don't care about the people that they're selling their products to. Um, they want to get their products in as many people's hands as possible, which I don't blame them. Uh, the bottom line is important, but I think uh, customer service is also important, and this past summer, I know they had a lot of problems with that. So, um, past couple months, just kind of decided to uh, do my own thing and find a company that fits my values a little bit more. But I'm um, about to head to the gym now and hit some back and biceps. I'll see you guys there. All right guys, so in the parking lot, before going into the gym, sipping on my pre-workout, finishing it up right now. This is the BPI Sports Vortex Snow Cone Flavored Pre-Workout. This is the best tasting pre-workout I have ever had. And I'm not just saying it because they sent it to me for free, I am saying it because it is. Now, does it, ki does it kick you in the face with that beta alanine rush, like some of the other pre-workouts I've had, like uh, Hyde, or C450X or Jack 3D. No, it doesn't, but it tastes awesome. Keeps you going throughout the workout, and it tastes awesome. I'll say it again and again and again. This is the best tasting pre-workout I've ever had. I love this snow cone flavor. And I don't know if I said it in the last video when I was reviewing the BPI Sports uh, supplements, but their, their BCAA product, the fruit punch flavor, I hate fruit punch flavor, but their fruit punch flavor, BCAAs, not bad. Not bad. So overall, their products do taste good. Um, do they work any better than any other product? Nope. But if you're in it for taste, BPI stuff tastes awesome. So I'm um, about to head in here now, hit this back workout with a little bit of biceps. I'll see you guys there. What's up guys? Bring you a commentary over this footage now. As you guys know, this footage is from January 24th, Sunday, a week ago. You guys are watching this. If you guys are watching it the day it's uploaded, it is a complete week later after this footage is actually shot. The reason because of that is because Wednesday of this week that you guys are watching right now, a couple days later, I got incredibly sick, hardly able to get out of bed, just a ton of like upset stomach, just can't move whatsoever. And for me, that was crazy because I take a ton of pride in um, always getting my micronutrients in, always having um, my daily vitamins, everything like that, taking care of my immune system. So getting sick for me is something that rarely ever happens. And when I got sick on Wednesday, it didn't just hit me like a flu or a cold or anything like that. It hit me like the plague. I felt dead. So there was a span from Wednesday until roughly next Saturday, Sunday-ish, uh, where I have no footage recorded whatsoever just because I was so sick. So as you guys are going to see um, in the next week or so, there's a little bit of a gap between footage, but that's why. So I just kind of wanted to update you on why that vlog footage is so sporadic there. It's because I was on my deathbed for a couple days. But it's going to wrap up this commentary. I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, guys. So just got back from the gym getting a post-workout meal. Now, what I got 
today for a post-workout meal. It's Sunday, so traditionally on Sundays, you guys probably know what I get. I get myself a little pizza. Now, <laughs> I got this from Pizza Hut. So for 20 bucks, I got a medium uh, pepperoni pizza, garlic sticks, uh, fettuccine alfredo pasta, and then another medium pepperoni pizza. So for 20 bucks, two pizzas, pasta and garlic sticks, can't beat that. And plus for me, that's gonna last me two days, so I'm solid. So don't think I'm going to consume all like 3,000 calories there, because I don't even know if that's physically possible for me. So um, yeah, that's dinner. Time to get to some homework and uh, enjoy the Sunday night. What's up guys, it is Monday morning, about 11 o'clock right now, getting some work done on the computer while I'm watching The 100 on Netflix. I just started watching this show on Saturday and I'm already on episode 9. Super addicting, I absolutely love this show. I'm um, not really sure how I stumbled upon it, but it's good. So if you guys are looking for a new show on Netflix, The 100 is one I definitely recommend. But um, what I just had for kind of like lunch I guess. Um, I had half of that fettuccine alfredo um, from that Pizza Hut big dinner box last night and Pizza Hut can make some killer fettuccine alfredo. That was good. So um, that was lunch. Um, but trying to get this assignment done real quick before I have class at 2.30 that I'm going to work out with uh, Jacob. You've seen him in a video before I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, that's the afternoon so far. Alright guys, so back with some more commentary now. I am in the gym today hitting a chest and triceps workout with Jacob. He is one of my good friends. He's a client of mine as well. Really been working on bulking him up over the past two to three months now. He bought a six, week, six month plan, so really trying to take it slow and put on some serious lean muscle over the next few months still. Um, this is him right here hitting a new one rep max. I helped him a little bit, but he definitely had enough in the tank to hit it if we probably wouldn't have taken as many warm up sets as I usually like to take for myself. Um, but it was just kind of a spur of the moment thing trying a new one rep max. The last time he tried a one rep max, I think he told me it was right around 150 pounds. He all but got 185 there. I definitely think if he tries it again, he's got it in him. So um, that is a huge, huge leap forward over just a few months. And it's honestly because somebody like Jacob is incredibly dedicated to what he wants. He knows he wants to put on muscle. He knows that he wants to get stronger. And he's doing what he needs to. He's counting his macros. He's in the gym when he's supposed to be in the gym. He's not taking uh, a lot of those kind of quote unquote off days um, because even when he's not in the gym he's still maybe going out for a jog he's still staying active he is still making sure he's counting his macros on those off days which I know a lot of people struggle with when you're not necessarily in the gym a lot of times people think that's also a time to take off from your diet but that is not the case you gotta stay consistent every single day and the gains that Jacob has made um, by putting on muscle putting on strength is a testament to what consistency and dedication can do. So um, just want to give a huge shout out to Jacob because he has made a ton of gains over the past few months and he's got a ton more gains left over the next few years. But it's going to wrap up the commentary. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait a second. It didn't pack a punch yet. That's not good. would be magic. I think there's a more left than Holding! Keep moving forward. I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead. I'm down, but I threw a... Oh. That's super anticlimactic. <laughs>